Hello guys, in this video I'll walk you through my StarCraft in-game settings, hotkeys and Windows settings well, that I discovered to work for me best for my years of experience and some key things to change if you haven't yet. That will hopefully help you with playing the game more efficiently and just better overall. If you're a veteran, perhaps you already know all of these, but if you are new, Definitely implementing these changes could have a positive impact on your gameplay. So let's get started. Open control panel. In the search bar, type mouse. Change mouse settings. And on pointer options, remove enhanced pointer precision. Go to keyboard. And on repeat delay, move it to shortest. Now this is a bit more advanced, so if you want even more responsiveness from your keyboard, type in in Windows search bar registry editor. From there, go to current user, control panel, accessibility, and then keyboard response. From here, you want to change these four values. Now, the original ones are out repeat delay at 1000, so you change that to 200, repeat delay at 6 from 500, delay before acceptance this one to 0, and flags to 59. If something goes wrong, I will show you the original Reddit thread from where you can find your uh, initial values, so you can just revert them. All right. So now we can go into StarCraft setting, escape, options, and then on graphics, um, if you have a more powerful PC, I guess you can have um, at least medium here. On texture quality, I like to have it on ultra. I reduce violence, just ha like less things happening. So here, uh, we do want to have game volume during alerts at close to like a hundred percent So it's easier to hear what's happening on like uh, if you're getting attacked like Basically all the alerts it, it just helps a lot um, You want to move and turn and Yeah, basically the other ones just lower than the alerts that's what you want here. So voice chat, I have it disabled. Mouse and keyboard, uh, enable mouse sensitivity 51%. My mouse is on 800 DPI, so that's what I'm comfortable with. If you want to be more precise, like uh, having low DPI is definitely the way to go for. Uh, enable mouse wheel zoom, so you can be locked units by just scrolling. Um, reduce mouse lag. Cursor size, this is mostly preference. If you, it's hard for you to see the, the pointer, just make it bigger. Um, mouse scroll speed at 100%. So this is um, how, how fast the um, screen will move while your mouse is at the edge of the screen basically so having it at a hundred percent or close to hundred percent will help you just be faster drag scroll speed this is uh when you're holding the drags the drag uh, button or the middle mouse button and uh you can move the mouse around the camera also moves so this way it's just faster now Gameplay, on gameplay, we want display build grid, always show worker status, show current order indicator, select larva, enable unit selection, very important, display experience points. This will allow you to see if um, a unit is killed by just showing the XP, even though it might be in the fog of war. Allow Windows restore. Uh, this is it's not that important gameplay wise, but it's it's neat to have it. Now this, so unit life bars either damaged or always. I like to have it on 
I, actually both of them it's fine I think like damaged only the damage units show life bar so it's easy to micro them always you will see like the the life bars of every unit so I guess if it's too cluttered for you like too much uh, on too much life bars on the screen just use damaged should work and uh, control group groups unclickable so you don't uh, by mistake click on them while something is happening on the screen and show flyer helper like always so it's just easier to um target flying units by with spells like storm emp fungal we move on to hotkeys and global so first of all we're gonna look on the camera hotkey here what you can change is center on current selection so basically what this does is your it centers your camera of unit that you've selected or units or group. so what this is useful for is let's say you want to follow a reaper that is moving you just hold this hotkey which on default is control plus f then we can work on the uh, camera location hotkeys so basically what this does is it saves your current screen on a hotkey so what you can do is control plus f1 that's your main base control plus f2 that's your second which hotkeys you use but definitely start using like uh location hotkeys they will help you a lot with like speed and just like uh, responsiveness as well to attacks. We move on to control groups. Here you can change some of the control groups like the 7, 8, 9, 10. They're kind of far away. So it's hard to press them. So what you can do is like change them to, some, to another hotkey. I use W instead of like 7 we can go to unit management We're gonna change the rapid fire uh hotkey if you if you know this like probably you've heard about this makes spells uh, a lot quicker I'll go to use ability or ai target and then i'm gonna add as a secondary hotkey r you can you can choose whatever hotkey you feel comfortable with should be like an easy hotkey to press and hold so after you've done here you you've done that we are done with global hotkeys so let's go with Prodos. on the robotics facility the immortal i change it to e which is uh, easier to click and on the mothership i change it to a here from the nexus here i'll show you how the rapid fire warp in works so first you select the gates then click the hotkey on the unit you want to uh, warp in let's say a zealot i'll then hold shift and my rapid fire hotkey which is r then i'll just move around my mouse and then you see i have my warp in done extremely quickly we do this procedure again for let's say dt i'll hold shift press d and then hold r pretty neat eh? now on terran what we want to change is um so the reaper the grenade we can change it to the rapid fire hotkey the steady targeting is already on a rapid fire hotkey somebody call for an exterminator ghost reporting uh the cyclone we can change lock on as well systems go cyclone ready for action optics online let's go kill some liberator Defender mode. Yes, sir. 
Need something liberated? Standing by. Liberation is at hand. Add auto turret, change it to that as well. And we're done here. Online. Ready for service. Now on structures, uh, the default hotkey for Planetary Fortress is, uh, I think, E, but I changed it to G, just it's quicker. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the lift off. Definitely want to change that hotkey, maybe to F or something that's comfortable, like lift off and then land. This applies to all the flying buildings that Terran has, so like if you change it to one of the buildings, it applies to all. Now, what else? I, I guess uh, a small trick that I, I learned from Ryang is just have your, let's say, Marine on A and S. So just uh, spam in A and S and it fills the barracks way quicker than just holding A. But because we changed uh, the keyboard settings, I guess just holding A is still like very quick. The sensor tower, so you go from uh, the SCV and you can change the sensor tower. It's on N, I guess. You can change that to like A. A. Yeah, change that to A. And still have the the normal hotkey, so if your muscle memory is just pressing that, you slowly just change it. Uh, okay, so here, changing the nuke to something comfortable. Now on the factory, we want to change the cyclone to A, because it's normally on N. And the same thing applies for the liberators, and we can want to change. A fusion core, we want to change the advanced ballistics, and we're done here with Terran. Now we move on to Zerg. Some of the buildings we want to change, like uh, infestation pit and Nidus, something more comfortable. Maybe the ultra list covered as well. Also, bio, we want to add as a secondary hotkey the rapid fire hotkey. That's we want to do that for sure um the other units are fine you want to, the caustic spray as well to have it on a rapid fire hotkey just for a very fast uh, caustic spray on all your rifters it buys you like that one or two seconds that can basically kill the building or not so it's useful the, the infester nothing there the queen so we want to spread creep quickly so definitely change the creep tumor at the rapid fire hotkey now uh, on the buildings on the creep tumor as well have it uh, have that hotkey changed and I think the upgrades are kind of fine you can I guess change this I think here the at melee attack is on M so it, if you find something that you're not comfortable with just change and that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. You learned something new and you're gonna apply it in your games. Take care guys and see ya in the next one. Bye bye.